Good morning. So I'm live now and I'm waiting for people to join before I start the workout sessions. see anyone here well, I copy pasted in a previous day's message which said uh, reminder for batch at 9 a.m. but that's not it uh, I'll be training now and we're going to train in five minutes time let's wait for more people to join in I think people are confused after seeing the message. They think that it's 9 a.m. but it's supposed to be at 10. Today we're going to do core, uh, more of abs workout and HIIT blended with core. So we shall start off in another five. Uh, Two minutes. Just give me two minutes, guys. I'll quickly get my activity tracker to keep a track of my heart rate and uh, the calories burned. Eight o four. We shall start our training in another one minute. See if anyone else is joining in. If not, it's absolutely okay. I'm keeping the sessions recorded so these people can access it later. Well, let's start off by stretching and we shall work on our apps today. So again, you don't need any equipment as such because we're going to target our uh, so we're having a, we're going we're working out in a very systematic manner and uh, keeping strategy in place. So this week again we started off the week not like we usually do by uh, legs, but we started off with the chest, and uh, we did the reverse uh, muscle therapy chest bicep and tricep. Uh, the very next day we did legs. Third day we that was yesterday we did chest. Uh, we did sh uh, shoulders, back, and obliques. So today we're going to cover the abs core area and at the same time we are going to keep uh, the HIIT workouts on uh, so that you are keeping your heart rates elevated and ensuring that there is a lot of muscle you know that your body is in a fat loss zone of 110 heartbeats so let's start off okay. let's stretch to begin with one, two, three, four, five. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five. Another side. One, two, three, four, five. Another side. One, two, three, four, five. Knee circles. Go. One. Two, three, four, five. Reverse go. One, two, three, four, 
5. In circles go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Reverse go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Make a fist, feet close, take that fist behind the lower back, push your lower back ahead, back up, chest up, breathe out for 5, 4, 3, 2, lean down, touch the ground, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, so far the stretches, that's all you have to do to get the core stretched out, so that we start off with the first variation of workouts. In the first variation, take your hands behind your head. Elbows pointing in front and at the same time take the take the legs and touch them to the elbow. Take the leg, touch them to the elbow. So we're going to do these variations in the first uh, instance. We're going to do 20 of these, followed by 20 second cross runs, followed by 20 second tap jobs. So we shall start off in a count of 3, 2, 1, go. 1, 2, 3. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Cross runs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, cross runs, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. If it is advisable, when you are doing your core or HIIT workouts or core workout specifically or abs workout, do not have anything, work out on an empty stomach to see more sharpness and more abs being visible as the water gets depleted from the body, as the excess water goes off. I may seem a little bloated today because of the fact that last, week, last night my sleep was improper. So this is a major major reason why many people look bloated when you wake up, if your sleep is not proper, if you have been uh, waking up in the midst of the sleep. That's why it's good to have a sound sleep of 8 hours, so you don't appear bloated and your cells are well hydrated early in the morning as soon as you drink your water. So let's do the next set, we'll do 30, 30, 30, on a count of 3, 2, 1, go! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 21, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 cross runs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. The best method of elevating your heart rate from where it is in the first set, I'm sure we brought it beyond 110. Second set onwards, second drill onwards, we're taking it beyond 120. 
and keeping it beyond 110. Last one, 40 each, on a count of 3, 2, 1, go! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, cross, runs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, cross runs, tap toes, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, rest. Nice, slowly and steadily elevating it to 130 and above to these three drills. We are done with the three drills. In the first three drills to be precise, the next thing that we are going to do now is very simple. Uh, again, hands behind, elbows pointed, taking the feet cross. One, two, three. We start off with 10 of those. We go down on the ground and do the mountain climbers. Just in case if you don't know what the mountain climbers are, doing it in this direction. Uh, again, 10 mountain climbers, knees to alternate elbows, and then 10 plain mountain climbers, knees to straight elbows. We're basically isolating our, we're pushing the abs inside, and then we're pushing it upwards. Targeting the abs in a very sculpted manner. So let's do it together. Uh, so 10, 10, 10 in the first set. In the second set, we shall do uh, uh, in total 16, 16. So which means 8 each side. And the last set, we'll do 20, 20, 20. So we'll start off with 10 on a count of 3, 2, 1 knees to alternate elbows. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, oh sorry, it was supposed to be 10, go down, 10, knees to alternate elbows, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, knees to straight elbows, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, rest, I apologize, I just, I just uh, kind of uh, carried on with the flow. Next set we shall do would be 16 in total. Uh, so I did in the first one we did 5 5 each side, that means 10. I will do 8 8 each side on the ground 8 8 8 8, which means 16 16 16. 
I'm sure many people who have been working out from day one or watching this recorded session have now realized that the amount of variations we add, our workouts are never the same and that is what gets us in shape, keeping the body in shock, making it adjust and adapt to various uh, forms and variations. So hands behind, elbows pointed, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Then down, knees to alternate elbow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Knees to straight elbows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We'll do the next set. Uh, 20, 20, 20. Together. So again, knees to Opposite elbows, alternate elbows on the floor, mountain climbers, knees to alternate elbows and elbows straight up, 20. 20 of these in total, let's do on a count of 3, 2, 1, go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Down. On the ground. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Ah. <sighs> Well, that's some sit up for the mountain climbers and the knees to the elbows workout. <coughs> we'll be doing the squat thrust up. Oh, God. Take a little rest before we do. Uh, let's do it, guys. The squat thrust up. Very easy form, not too difficult. We'll be doing 10, then we'll do 15, and then we'll do 20. Okay, push up position, legs in front, get up. One. Then legs in front, get up. So you're gonna do 10 of these. I'm gonna give you three seconds to form up. And we start off together. Three, two, one, go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next. We'll do the next set for fifteen reps with me online so let's do it guys together three two one go one two three four five six seven 8, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, no, 14, 15, rest. Wow. Works well on the love handles as well as the subcutaneous area. The last set is going to be a lengthy one. So it's going, going to be for 20 repetitions. I'm sure we're going to love it as we do it. Oh. Let's take an hour break and see where our heartbeats reached. Yes, 15 minutes in the workout, and I'm sure. You must have burnt anywhere between 60 to 120 calories, depending upon the body mass. Let's do it together. On a count of 3, 2, 1, for mark, let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, oh god, yeah, so those were the HIIT moves, HIIT will continue while we do floor workouts as well and I'll tell you how, now we're gonna lie on the mat and do the floor workouts, now as we do the floor workouts, after the third set, Immediately, we'll be doing 30 mountain climbers, which means uh, for every workout. Which means, if uh, because obviously we have to work on the muscle, so there's muscle growth in the abs area, and the muscles are strong enough, which will save and protect your internal organs and the skeletal muscle. That is a major reason why you work on the core is to have a stronger core. So your spinal cord is protected, your internal organs are protected, your your bones or anything inside out is protected. So when you work out on the muscle, the muscle becomes stronger, the muscle grows just like any other muscle. Uh, but in order for us to display that, you need to oxidize the fat in that area. Mountain climber works like a kind of HIIT or uh, you know a, a cardio blended with uh, muscle training because this area, there's no such thing as spot reduction, but again, your core is in motion so obviously your muscles are also in motion while you're doing the mountain climbers so that's why uh, we're blending the mountain climbers at the end of every third set so we crunches after the third set of crunches we'll do mountain climber if we do sit-ups after the third set of sit-ups we'll do mountain climbers leg raises last set uh, we'll do mountain climbers and so on so let's do it together and burn a lot of calories together i'm going to take position so first set i'm going to do would be of crunches and this is basic old school crunches. If you see, I'm not. We are not targeting a lot on our obliques today because we did work on the obliques yesterday. So let me just tilt my screen in a way that you guys can see me while I perform the set. So if you do it with perfection and with ease, lie flat on the ground, legs folded the way my legs are. Only the chest. The shoulder and the track muscle has to be raised like this because the isolation has to be on the uppermost part of your abs. So we're going to do 20, 25 and 30. I know the numbers are big, but if you guys have been working out from day one, you guys have that strength to reach those numbers. Uh, day one since we started the online workout. If you guys are not working out since day one, this is your first session. Go as max as possible. 
immediately after the third set we are doing the mountain climbers. So let's start with a count of 3, 2, 1, go! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, best. Breathe out whenever you re uh, raise your, uh, your body. When you go against the gravity, be it a push variation or a pull variation, you need to breathe out from your mouth. We did 20. We'll keep the short breaks and we'll go for 25 repetitions right now. On a count of 3, 2, 1, go! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, rest. Rest enough. Rest enough to have enough oxygen in your body because you're going to do the third set very soon and it starts off in a count of 3, 2, for 30 reps. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, get ready for mountain climbers, 2, 1, 30 mountain climbers guys, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 29, 30. It's that easy. We're done with the first set, our first three sets of crunches. On the third set, we did the mountain climbers. Now we're going to do the crunches with leg raise, trying reaching the toe. So we're going to do 10 repetitions, 12 repetitions, and 15 repetitions, raising the leg straight. So if you have an elevated surface like a wall, place your feet on the wall. I'll show the tip to the ones for whom it's difficult to hold the crunches. I'm going to place my leg on the wall here. I'm going to try reaching my toe on every repetition. And after the third set again, I'm going to do 30 mountain climbers. So, I go close to the wall and place my feet like this. And I'm going to try reaching the toe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ah, it's not as easy as it seems when you have support. See, the best part is the subcutaneous area is already in, uh, you are in pressure plus the upper chest, uh, upper abs. So it's the perfect blend of lower and upper abs, keeping the lower abs, lowest most part of your abdominal muscle in strain while working on the upper area. And in the process, the midsection of your abdominal is already warmed up for the next session, for the next set. So let's do it, another set. 12 reps, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, ouch. That's it. Uh, the third set we'll be doing for 15 and immediately after 15 we're going to do the mountain climbers. 3, 2, 1, go! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
6, 7, 8, oh God, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, Then the mountain climbers 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, rest. That was genius. It should be if you want nice. Uh, Pressure up in your core area. We do the sit ups now. Ah. So, for sit ups, if you have a partner, very good. Let me just uh, shift the mat in such a way that. I'll show you how you can do the sit-ups without a partner. Partner as in, you know, when you take a pawn for the sit-up, you can hold the hand of a partner and get up if uh, you can't get up on your own. But if you just can't do it, uh, or if your back is aching, if there's a back problem, just do the crunches. It's absolutely okay. Uh, add three additional sets of crunches along with you. Uh, okay. Hold. The hamstring, this is for the ones who can't do the sit-ups on their own. Hold the hamstrings hard and pull the upper body upwards. One, two, three. So this is what you guys can do for the ones who cannot sit up on their own. Uh, follow this strategy. Uh, we'll be doing three sets. We'll start off with 10, then second set will be 12 and third set will be 15. On the third set, we'll continue with the mountain climber. So let's do it together. On a count of three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll do the next set. The next set will be for uh, 12 repetitions. For the ones who are watching the recorded session, please do not uh, forget to subscribe. Subscribe the channel to get regular notifications. Let's do it guys. 12 repetitions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, press. Let's do 15 reps. Together. Let's start off, guys. 3, 2, 1, go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, mountain climbers, thirteen. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen, 
thinking that doing crunches, sit-ups will, uh, you know, will make visible abs so you guys can flaunt them on the beach. That's the first thing I'm going to do uh, after the quarantine period, go on the beach, flaunt my abs if they are visible. But for that, I have to burn the body fat down. Only doing abs won't work. Blending abs workout with HIIT, what we are doing today, would definitely work if you're extending it. So next time, whenever you're doing abs, just don't do abs alone. Add it up. With HIIT movement where your heart rates are high and you're uh, you know and you're sweating it out, you're taking off excess water from the body. We're done with the sit-ups. Now we're going to do the elevated crunches. For that, keep your hands down, place yourself on the glutes. Go one, two, three. Uh, this basically works on the midsection. Very easy, keep your hands down, be on the glute, pull your knee to the chest and push. So we're going to do 10, 15 and 20 repetitions. First set of 10, second of 15, third of 20. After the 20, we're going to go back onto the ground and we'll do the mountain climbers again. After the third set. So let's do it guys. Take the position, 10 reps. Go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ha. Do the second set of elevated reverse crunches. Fifteen repetitions is what we'll do now. On a count of three, two, one. Go. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen. Rest. Out. I'm sure you guys can feel that deep inside. That's how it has to be. The last one. Twenty repetitions, and after that, immediately we do the mountain climbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh God! One, press, mountain climbers, let's do it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, then, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nine, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, out. Oh God, we are yet to do like half an hour in the workout and I'm sure you guys are liking the way we are working out, or we are sweating it out the way we are supposed to. The very next set that we are going to do right now would be the reverse crunches lying on the floor and uh, it's now time to change the variation. Now instead of the mountain climbers, we will be doing the split jacks uh, on the, after the third set. This is how you do the split jacks. I'll explain. Push, push up position. Leg split. One, two, three. So, we're going to do 20 split jacks after the third set of each variation from now. Because right now, since we're focusing on the subcutaneous area while we're in the lower abs, we also need to work on the love handles, which is towards the hip area. So we're blending it both into supersets in the third after the third set. So let's do it together. First, let's do a reverse crunch. Try raising your hips as well. So the lowest part of your ab muscle 
abdominal muscle is worked on. So we'll start off with 10 repetitions and then we'll do 12 uh, and then we'll do 15. So let's start off, take position. 3, 2, 1, go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, rest. Get ready to do the split checks after the third set. It's very easy to do. 20 is what we need to do, that's it. Keeping the HIIT, respect in the HIIT aspect while working on the muscle. Let's do the next set for 12 reps. Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, ah, 11, ah, 12, oh, that's amazing. Do the last set for 15 reps. Let us kill this one together. And after that, we have to do the split jack, taking the push up position, letting the legs go out and coming out inside. So, three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Ah, let's do the split jacks, guys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, best. Ah, oh, damn. Ah, oh, amazing. Do the leg raises. For 10 reps, 12 reps and 15 reps, 3 sets. And after the third set of leg raises, again a split jack of 20 repetitions. And a very important exercise for the ones who are watching the recorded session or who are new viewers, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on such content coming your way. Oh. Let's do it, guys. Uh, 10, 12, 15. On a count of 3, 2, 1, raise your hip, go. 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, ten. Rest. We do the next set for twelve repetitions, and I'm sure you got you guys are going to have a nice pump around. The abdominal area, if you have lesser body fat, you, they are, the abs may be visible as well. Let's do the next set. On a count of three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five. Huh. Six, very good. Seven. Come on. Eight. 
Ha, nein. Ha, ben. Ha, lenin. Ha, twelve. Rest. Okay, the last set of the clean legs. Oh. This is heavenly. After the 15 repetitions, we are going to split jacks for 20. On a count of 3, 2, 1, go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. Oh God. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Rest. <sighs> Okay, that's how we did the leg raises. Now we'll be doing the flutter kicks. Uh, the last workout of the day before we hit the planks. And as usual, we shall uh, uh, document our time, let one another know what was our best. Uh, let's finish the flutter kicks and then I'll tell you the strategy for uh, increased plank counts. So let us do that together. Ah. These are the flutter kicks, basically. We're doing 30 of those in the first, second, 40, third set, 50. Uh, it may sound very, may look very easy, may sound also very easy, 30, 40, 50. But trust me, if it's giving too much of a cramp in your lower abs, it's okay to give up. But let's do the max as much as our body allows us to. So I'm counting 30 on the count of 3, 2, and after the third set, do the split jacks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Rest. Okay, after the last set, do the split jack. 20, or we do 30 split jacks, followed by 30 mountain climbers to wrap it up before we do the plank. And it's the last workout, why should we leave it so easy? Let's hit 40 now. Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, let's hit 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, raise out. Ah, that's nice. We'll do 50. I hope everyone was with me for 40 and 50. Or maybe it's me who's losing strength. I hope so, because it's good to sustain and retain our strength in the last rep count for maximum muscle growth in that area. Let's do it guys. On a count of 3, 2, 1, go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, rest. Let's do 30 split jacks this time, followed by 30 mountain handles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 27, 28, 29, 30. Oh. We'll rest for a while before we do the planks, as usual, after the workout. I'm going to see how my abs are visible. Put up the picture on Facebook and Instagram to attract more people and prove them that if we can do it at home, you guys can as well. There are many people who stick to the notion that a good body can only be attained and achieved in the gym, but the real gym a person carries is in the mind. <laughs> Wherever you work out, at the end of the day, if you have a systematic and a strategic approach, if you keep science first, if you know what you're working on, if you have a strong mind and muscle connection, it doesn't matter which part of the world you are, you can still maintain and uh, get, you know, achieve a very good physique. That's my goal at the end of the day, uh, to help you guys achieve what you desire. Ah, so it's time for plan, and uh, I would advise you all to not focus on the timings. Okay. Now uh, the mind plays a tricky game when you're following a time pattern and looking at the watch while doing planks. You need not do that because all you have to do is distract yourself, read an, read an article, uh, listen to some good music if need be, if needed. Anything, anything that could distract you. Uh, I suck at plank but last time I was able to hit in total uh, uh, beyond two minutes. I'll see how longer can I hold today. Always remember that your last set because that is what uh, trains your mind to do better. So like I knew that last time I did two minutes so my mind knows that I've done two minutes and two minutes is easier, easier for me to achieve. So I may go for a longer period of time that's how we train our minds. Okay, so always remember what is your last best because your last best will, uh, you know, will uh, help you reach a plateau. So I have my phones on. I'm going to play a song and I'll sink in that song. Uh, so I'm going to take a break from you guys and let you guys do whatever you want to do while we're taking a plank position. Just see how I take the plank position. Uh, I'll first show you the position. Elbows on the ground. Come on your toes. Hip down. This is the position that you have to hold. And you've got to hold it for maximum time. Let's be honest with ourselves and add up the timings in the group or DM me. Uh, so you guys know what, uh, what you're at. Uh, meanwhile... I'm giving myself 3 seconds to start off, you guys can start off whenever you're ready with whatever would distract you because immediately after plan, we will be stretching ourselves. So let's do it guys. On the count of 3, 2, 1, go.
Oh. oh, now I'm going to be honest with y'all, I always say that I suck at plank. Ah, I was able to do 2 minutes and 10 seconds, I'm keen to know what was your best. Feel free to comment here, feel free to write it on the group, feel free to DM me. While we stretch, I'll give you 5 seconds to gather your breath, settle down already burned close to 300 between 300 to 400 calories depending oh amazing yeah Nidhi hats off to you so I did two minutes 10 seconds next time I know what my best is gonna be settle down guys let the breath come down a little with the heartbeat salivation relax so that we can stretch uh, tomorrow again it's, there's a very important session please do not miss out on the stretching sessions because along with uh, see we, I, I precisely target on all the aspects of fitness right from flexibility, mobility, uh, you know internal fitness which is required, uh, your core that has to be stronger, your muscular anatomy, your uh, cardiorespiratory endurance, uh, your kick, you know your, uh, your body structure, all of that matters to me. So tomorrow what we're going to do is uh, focus more on the flexibility and the mobility aspect. So we're going to do some deep ballistic and dynamic stretches. Uh, full body stretches because so far we've targeted all the uh, body parts right from chest, shoulder, tricep, back, biceps, core, legs. There's no muscle group pending. So these muscle group need a uh, relaxation and that happens through uh, stretches that we do tomorrow. So please be a part of tomorrow's session. Uh, it's a more of a yoga themed stretch. Deep ballistic dynamic stretches is what I call it or what science calls it. Calls it. Uh, and day after tomorrow we're going to do a cardio respiratory workout going to be more of kickboxing and HIIT. Hopefully the lockdown lifts soon so I'll resume back to my work. Uh, it's good to not work and not earn but you know uh, help a lot of people uh, achieve their fitness levels and hopefully my karma comes back to me in a good form when the lockdown is up uplifted. So let's stretch guys. Uh, lie flat on the ground, hands on the ground, palms facing outside. Push your upper body upwards, feel your core, look upwards at the ceiling, hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, rest. Now, knee down, hip down, forehead on the ground, hold it for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go back, hands on the ground, Lift your waist, 5, 4, 3, 2, now on your own, go as low as possible, ah oh, damn, that's better, 5, 4, 3, 2, with the power of your core, clear up. Legs straight, 10 attempts to reach your toes, every attempt breathe out. Knee lock 8, perfect. Lie flat on the ground, one ankle on the other side, pull, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, another side. Pull your knees downwards for five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Sit straight. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Get up. Back up. Five, four, three, two, one. Reach out for your toes. Breathe out as you go down. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Thank you very much for being online and working out along with me. 
I see someone else joined in right now. Please rewind and start off the workout from how we started and how we elevated it till the end. Uh, please leave a review for me on my Facebook page. Uh, whatever it is, positive, negative, it doesn't really matter. For us, a positive feedback uh, encourages. Uh, for us, a negative feedback helps us learn. So we ensure that uh, you know we get better at what we do. Uh, whatever stars, it's up to you to give it. And uh, get your friends to subscribe as you share this uh, news of getting free online coaching till the lockdown with everyone because the intention is to promote good health. With that being said, I, uh, I sign off. Train, transform, inspire, guys. My name is Yogesh Onavekar. It was really nice working out with you all.